Hi there, this is Alvin with kickstartcommerce.com and in today's tutorial I want to show you how to export your WordPress post pages as well as other items such as media, um, portfolio, or whatever custom media types that you have. So that being said, uh, let's go ahead and jump in. So I'm logged into a local WordPress, um, a local instance of WordPress that I'm running on my Mac and essentially uh, what you can do so there there are a few different things that you might use this for so for instance let's say you're wanting to migrate from an existing WordPress website into a new site so you have an existing website you want to do a new redesign and the easiest thing would likely be to do a uh, just a theme switch but let's just say that for whatever reason you wanted to switch uh, providers, um, so you're moving from like a GoDaddy to ho uh, Bluehost or Bluehost to GoDaddy, then what you may end up doing is uh, like exporting, you know, the database, um, or let's just say that you only wanted you you had a new database and you wanted to import uh, those pages. So in the admin dashboard here. Um, under tools you can go to export and essentially what this does you can choose what to export and essentially here we have all content you can um, export your post your pages your media but the thing about this download export file is that it creates a XML file and so oftentimes um, what I find with customers is that they want to actually look at their posts look at their pages look at you know various media in Excel now you could easily download this save it as and try to uh, do a save as to an Excel or um, if you want to what you can do is go to plugins and add new and there are two different plugins that you could try um, I'm gonna show you Uh, we have a plugin here that's called uh, Simple um, Simple CSV XLS Exporter, and essentially what that will do uh, is basically allow you to you know export to uh, CSV or or, or uh, the Excel file, which is .x lsx or .xls that being said what we're going to do here is search for this and we'll see what it gives us here let's see see what search results come up we have to refresh there it is and we'll click install excuse me and then once it installs um, we'll basically end up uh, clicking activate and then it should activate here and then once it activates what we'll end up doing is going over to um, our tools and then now you see it says CSV XLS export so go ahead and click that and then once it's there, what you can end up doing is uh, set the CSV delimiter. Um, and so you can set it to either be the pipe or the comma or you know whatever uh, special character you wanna use there. Only allow export from backend. I typically set that to yes. And then you can choose which custom uh, post type you like to export, whether it's post, pages, media, revisions, on and on and on. Typically I just work with the post and the pages 
and then I come in and you can get down to they so WordPress has various post status types. So let's say you only wanted your future posts. So things that are scheduled in the future, you would select future. Um, I'm not going to select anything just because I want everything out of there. And then here, uh, what you can do is basically select all the fields that you want. And so I'm just going to select the permalink, the author, the post date, the title, um, and the ID. And then you, if there are custom fields to export, you can export those as well. And then what you'll want to do is save this before you try to export. And because uh, if not, what you'll do, you'll basically, if you try to save, you'll lose everything that you have there. And then once you get that, now you're ready just to export to CSV or an XLS file. So we'll click export. And it goes into our download file. And let's see here. We'll open and then here is the page. And we'll open this and you can see Excel by default or um, since I'm on that Mac, I'm going to go ahead and just open uh, this in numbers. Since I use numbers and I don't necessarily use uh, Excel all the time. And there are those pages. And so we have the post uh, author, we have the ID, the post author, the post date, the post title, and permalink, and that's it. I mean, so that's pretty much it there in terms of if you ever wanted to export your post, your pages, media, and all that. Now, there is another um, uh, plugin that I, I won't necessarily go through in this, but you can go through it. It's called Export WordPress Data to xml slash csv so if you wanted a csv uh, file you could also use it um, and it also gives an overview video here that you can actually go in and you know begin to learn about but as you can see it exports just the same as the other one i like I like the simple uh csv excel uh or xls exporter because it's lightweight um in terms you know it's lighter versus this one but both of them work so that being said, I hope that this tutorial has uh, given you clarity on how to export your different custom posts uh, or your different media types out of WordPress into um, a CSV or even a uh, XML or even an XLS, which is an Excel file. That being said, let me know if you have questions below the video or comments. And please, please, please subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel, Kickstart Commerce, where I, uh, I drop a video um, essentially every Wednesday. And oftentimes I'm covering WordPress uh, tips and tricks as well as search marketing uh, tips and tricks. And then last but not least, digital strategies that pertain to domain name investing. So... Uh, please subscribe so you'll be the first one to know when I drop that next video as well please visit kickstart commerce and in the right hand side here uh, please sign up for the daily scoop uh, where each time I drop a blog post um, then you know whether that blog post it, it'll cover some sort of digital strategy whether that's search marketing WordPress tips and tricks or domain name investing strategies uh, to, to help grow your business so sign up for that and uh, you'll be the first to know because it'll hit your inbox so thanks and that's all for now